Welcome to another episode with Papa Dum to Pizza. I'm Greta Anto. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make peanut and pepper rice. It's simple, easy to make using leftover rice. It's colorful, super delicious and perfect for lunch boxes. Let's get cooking. Please support by subscribing to the channel. Before we move into the recipe, let's take a quick look at the ingredients for the peanut and capsicum rice. Red and Kashmiri chilies, coriander powder, one teaspoon, peppercorns, half a teaspoon, urad dal, one tablespoon, cumin, half a teaspoon, mustard seeds, one teaspoon, roasted peanuts, two to three tablespoon, chopped peppers. Use the colors that you like. I used all three colors. Butter, twenty grams. Now let's dry roast the ingredients for the masala by adding in the chilies and roasting for 2 to 3 minutes. Once chilies have charred, add in urad dal, cumin, peppercorns and peanuts. If you are using coriander seeds, add it at this stage. Add mustard seeds and coriander powder. The reason I am toasting the mustard seeds is to bring out the nutty flavor. I have left the coriander powder to be added at the last so that it doesn't burn and ruin the masala. Once masalas are cooled, add it to the mixer and grind to a coarse powder. Add water to a pan, bring it to a boil, add in the rice. I used one and a half cups. Season it with salt and cook until the rice is almost ninety percent done. The reason I don't cook the rice completely is to avoid it being sticky while adding the masala. Strain and cool completely. This helps any excess water to evaporate and the rice to be separate. To a hot pan, add oil or butter, toss in the peppers and season it with salt. Cover and cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Make sure the peppers are crunchy. This not only adds texture to the dish but also helps retain the vibrant colors of the peppers and keeps the vitamins intact. It's time to add the coarsely ground masala. Stir through until the peppers are fully coated in the masala. Add in the rice little at a time and mix well. This helps the masalas to combine well and it doesn't result in overhandling the rice and breaking them. Repeat this step until all the rice has been used. This recipe is perfect to use up leftover rice. Since I didn't have any leftovers, I showed how to cook rice using the draining method. You'll notice that the rice is separate and the masala is fully coated. What better way to use up the leftover rice? Our delicious and colorful peanut and pepper rice is ready. I hope you like this video. Do try it at home and leave your feedback and comments. Until I see you in the next episode on Wednesday, stay safe and take care.